All right, thank you everybody for coming and watching this uh, interview with the famous, awesome Scott Flansburg, AKA the human calculator. Um, really excited to speak to you. I, you know, I met you uh, just a few months ago in Central Park. We had a awesome lunch just sitting on a rock in Central Park. The weather was amazing. Yeah. Um, and I had been waiting to meet you for years. Um, as I, you know, I, I met you near who we had before on the show and, you know, I've, I've always been into memory and math, so I know about you and, uh, this is great to have you here. Um, so I guess I just have a few questions to ask you about different things you're involved with. Um, I guess, first of all, congrats on your, your show on the, the history channel. How's that going? Wow. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. It just came out, uh, and four episodes aired this last weekend twice. So it was an eight hour marathon and History 2 and History Channel were really excited and our production company and yeah. uh, Base Productions, John Brank is uh, unbelievable and took us a while to shoot it, but uh, hopefully they're going to order some more. Well, I'll let you know as soon as I know. Yeah, that's good. We'll put links so that people can check it out. Um, Thank you. So f let's, let's talk about you. Like, what's well, I know your story, but for people out there, what's your background? How did you get into math and what, what is it that you are, what are you known for? Yeah, well, I'm in the Guinness Book of Records as the fastest human calculator for this thing that I do where I count by a number. Uh, so, like, let's say I pick 24. Yeah. So, if you had to do 24 plus 24 plus 24, just keep saying the answer out loud as fast as you could for 15 seconds. Yeah. How many answers do you think you could get? I don't know. It depends on the number. 24, I think I could yeah. get, maybe do in 15 seconds, maybe four yeah. or five. I don't know. All right, so this is what it sounds like, 24, 48, 72, 96, 120, 144, 168, 192, 216, 240, like that. So, you know, the number just keeps counting up. So in You're going slow, seconds, right? You're going slow. Very slow. <laughs> I want to make sure everybody understands just what I'm actually doing before I do it. And um, so it's just counting by a number for 15 seconds. And the Guinness folks found this really fast accountant with a 10 key. And so the judge chose the number 38. So I had to add 38 plus 38, and he had to do 38 plus 38 plus 38 on his calculator as fast as he could. <laughs> yeah. And at the end of the 15 seconds, he had 28 answers, and I had 35. So I can almost do, my, I average about two and a half answers per second when I'm going full speed. So That's go cool. ahead and pick a random two-digit number, and I'll yeah. just start counting by Yeah, we can do it? Okay. Uh, let's do let's it. see. Um, my favorite number. Well, let's no. Let's try something a little higher. Let's say... 63. 126, 189, 252, 315, 378, 441, 504, 567, 630, 693, 756, 819, 882, 945, 1008, 1071, 1134, 1197, 1260. Like <laughs> that. That was awesome. 21 times in probably 10 seconds. So uh, I just get tuned into the number now. So it's freaky because yeah. as soon as you said 63, my brain just goes into this, I don't yeah. want to say trance, but it's almost like you can't knock me off that vision, that 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 idea. Yeah. And my brain just gets so tuned into it. And what actually slows me down is my mouth. My brain is going so sure. fast yeah. that my mouth actually slows me down. So the tricky part is synchronizing those two. Yeah, sure. And I, one of the questions I, I first asked you, because being a memory guy, I was like, are you doing this or are, have you memorized them? And, and, and you were telling me that somebody had asked you that before and actually you disproved them, right? Yeah. Great. Thanks for asking that. Because especially with all the memory guys you have and girls listening, uh, people might think there's a memory to it. Uh, I don't memorize anything. When you said 63, I might have done that number a dozen times in my life, right. but I don't remember any of them. I just can, <laughs> it's too easy to calculate yeah, instead yeah, of memorizing. Yeah. So um, the Guinness folks thought I had cheated and actually memorized all the two-digit numbers up to like a thousand or something, Which whatever. Could be doable. Like I, 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 that's the way I would probably do it, and I could. But you could, right? Yeah. You could, but it would be a lot of work yeah. and. There's not a logic to it. You're creating no. connections to make it logical. But to me, it just adds up like it can't be any other thing. So yeah. it's beyond memorization. Logic defies memorization, if yeah. you will. So uh, the Guinness folks were like, hey, can you prove to us that you just didn't memorize counting by 63 or 38? And so I said, all right, well, when you turn on a calculator, it always starts at zero. So instead of starting at zero, pick a totally <laughs> random like three-digit number and I'll use that as my zero and start from there and then count by 63 or whatever. So go ahead, pick a random three digit number. And I'm closing my eyes now so everybody knows that I'm not uh, cheating or, you know, yeah, have yeah. a friend helping me or something. So any three digit number? 
Yeah, just a random three-digit number that'll be our new zero. All right, let's say 234, 234. 234. Now, what two-digit number do you want me to count by starting at 234? And I promise you, Nelson, I have never practiced or done this before. Starting at yeah, 234, yeah. what do you want me to count by? Let's go by 19. 253, 272, 291, 310, 329, 348, 367, 386, 405, 424, 443, 464, 815. That's awesome. Like that. That's Fast cool. as I can think, you know, and yeah. talk. So Love it. it's a gift. Uh, I, I, I couldn't have practiced this. Numbers yeah. just make total sense to my brain, and it's given me insights to help people better understand numbers. So that's where yeah. I've made my living the past 25 years is as an author, a speaker, yeah. I make videos, things like that. Uh, started in infomercials and now to the History Channel level is just a dream come true is, you know, just for guys like you and me for to sure. be able to have an impact on the planet, not just sharing or showing off our gift, but more importantly, showing people how they can apply it into their everyday lives and make their lives better. Yeah. So let me ask you, because um, I'm always, I'm, a lot of the people I talk to or in my world are trained, right? Like Yusnir, he's obviously talented, but he's trained. And same with me, I've trained. But it seems like, I mean, this is a gift, but do, how do you, I mean, there must, could I learn it? Um, could I get to your level or is it is it something totally different? I I don't think, you know, I don't want to say no because I've run into a few people that have walked up to me and challenged me to count by a number and they say they can do it just as quickly. So I'm sure we're going to run into a few kids and out there that once they know that it's okay to count by a number and get timed and see if it's worthy of a world record, maybe that'll inspire more kids to start counting by numbers. That's why my program's, program is called I Count. I want to use numbers as a way to not only teach kids how to think about numbers properly and do math, but more importantly, to use numbers as a way to increase their self-esteem. So I count. And it's not a coincidence that I count for a living. I just can count by numbers. So I don't try to teach people how to count by numbers really quickly. I try to teach people how to understand numbers better and simple strategies to deal with basic arithmetic in everyday life. Yeah, Because, I mean, that's where that skill probably comes from. From I, I don't know your upbringing, but I would guess that as from a young age, you were uh, you had a good number sense. Yeah. Yeah, I was okay. in third grade, and my teacher picked me to go up to the board. And at the time, I could care less about math. I was totally into sports. And I had to add up a column of numbers. And it was when we first learned how to carry. And I wasn't paying attention. I did it backwards. I did it left to right. I just went 10, 20, 30, 40, and added it up. And I said the answer. She's like, well, how did you do that? And I showed her. And she goes, no, no, no. you got to go the other way. And I was like, well, it's easier this way. So – not only did I learn how to add quickly that day, but more importantly is, is what, what seed was planted in my brain that day was maybe teachers don't know everything. Maybe they're just teaching what they know the best they can, but maybe there are better ways to get the answer out there. So from third grade on, everything I learned, I would sit there and try to figure out an easier way to get the answer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a shame. I, I mean, I, growing up, I, I did physics and math. Those were my majors. And well, I remember being in that, getting so I was already good at numbers and, and mental calculations, not at your level, but um, enough in that field. And even the the teachers we had and stuff, like in the room full of these guys, like I remember how we all had really good number sense and how big a difference it is, and how crazy it is that a lot of people in America, at least, are afraid of numbers. It's just, it's not, it's it's really bad. It's become socially accepted yeah, to be yeah. bad at math. I do national television shows like you where they start the interview with, hey, I'm really bad at math. So I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You just told millions of people listening that even though you're making tons of money and national recognition, you, you have to do no math. And that's not true. I'm going to show you how you use math in everyday life right now, even if you think you're bad at it. So I'm trying to dispel that myth too and try to make it cool to be good at numbers, to be a mathlete, if you will. Yeah. That's cool. Um, what is um, so? I, I I was a few years ago. You were you kept posting every day on Facebook uh, your your calendar day. I thought this was really cool. So <laughs> you, ha you have your own calendar. You're trying to to push right and tell me. About yes, it. thanks for noticing. Now that makes my whole day. I mean, I <laughs> love the math stuff. I do, but this calendar started as a novelty at Y two K time, and I just why not use a thirteen month calendar with twenty eight days in every month and. This one day it inspired me to, uh, to use zero as a number and counting the days. So there's a zero day, a zero month, a zero year. And it just sort of makes a 365 day year add up perfectly where every date falls on the same day of the week every month. It would make our lives beyond simple. And so uh, I just sort of threw it out there. And 
now in episode four of my show on the History Channel that we actually have a whole segment about nice. my calendar while I'm visiting the atomic clock in Boulder, Colorado. So uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm introducing it officially next year, 2017, because oh, cool. uh, the trick is, Nelson, I need a Monday, a Sunday as January 1st. So, okay. um, so every year, 2017. Be, every year it would start on a Sunday? No, I just okay. needed a one oh, a year to, to start on a Sunday to synchronize so that my one days are always on a Monday to prove okay. to sort of show off the efficiency of my cool. calendar. All right, that would be cool. So yeah, thanks for bringing that up. It's yeah, a, it's a it's, it's a, a fun yeah. project. It's a big idea, I know, but it's a lot of fun. That's cool. And then, so something that I'm really excited about because it taps into my memory world is the Memoriad competition. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's every I believe four years or two years. Four years. Every four years. Like the Olympics for mental sports. Yeah, so it combines the stuff you do, the, the, the mental calculation, and then memory as well. And there's all these disciplines. Uh, I think yes. you can compete in both or just your own uh, side of things. But uh, right. this year is going to be in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's if you want to tell, I don't know if it's if public yet, the, the sponsor... Go for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's all good news, buddy. Thanks. No, I'm glad so we're the first you were just telling me, yeah, that uh, Zappos, right, has, has has come along, and they're huge in Vegas and huge in general. Um, yeah. So that's going to be really exciting. What are the dates again? November 7 through 11. It's Monday through Friday. November 7th will be the welcoming day. 8, 9, and 10 are competitions. Big party the night of the 10th. And 11th, we're going to do some fun things because it's actually Veterans Day here in America. Oh, and yeah. Ron White is, is a friend of yours, uh, does this uh, amazing wall from memory oh, about yeah. the Afghanistan ser service people. So uh, we really want to bring it all together on Friday, the November 11th, to not only show off everybody's amazing skills, but to also show how a guy like Ron incorporated his gift to uh, help and support others in his community and in the world. So uh, he's a great example of that. I love that thing he does with the with the the wall. It's incredible, mesmerizing. I actually got to witness it. He did it at the oh, yeah. Arizona Diamondbacks baseball game. Oh, that's and right. I remember to watch the families come up to the wall crying and touching their families' members' name. I mean, it was really surreal that he he came up with that, and it's got such a huge impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Um, but the, yeah, the competition will be exciting. Um, if anybody's interested, it's. Uh, I guess, memoriad.com, yeah? You can check yeah, out. yeah, and here's what's There's funny, Nelson. When I first saw uh, Memoriad, I call it me uh, oh. Memoriad or Memoriad, and I called it both ways for a long time, and then it hit me that it's all about memory, so it just starts with memory ad memory ad memory ad oh, okay. right okay and um there's there's going to be 11 categories plus speed reading we're going to throw in there too um okay. and we're also looking for amazing savants from around the world to come to las vegas to just sort of help us celebrate this uh mental athlete thing we're really going to make it yeah. cool it's going to be a huge documentary we're filming everything yeah. zappos is going to use a bunch of the mental athletes coming in from around the world as stories on their website to not only nice. promote their brands and business but also to promote mental athletes that's cool man i'll be there i'll, I'll try to win the thing or I'll try to win the memory stuff at least yeah yeah i would love to see you try to do the counting thing come on yeah you know i might just try that the calculation stuff just for shits and giggles but uh I won't yeah do very well just so you know I've invented a thing called a counting bee. It's like, you know, the spelling bee. And okay. a lot of kids memorize a lot of those words. But the spelling bee is um, uh, an amazing competition. It's 80 years, I think. So well, the counting bee is going to be introduced at Memory Ad this year in Las Vegas. Everybody's going to get their 15 seconds of fame to count by a random number. Let's say you got to count by 24. Except okay. here's the different differentiator. You get up there and say, "All right, Nelson, you got to start. You got to count by twenty-four, but you have to start at a random number, like thirty-seven. Oh, so everybody else will count by the same number. It's a fair contest, but we'll oh, okay. have a prize, a cash prize for whoever can do the best. Really? All right. Yeah. So we all get, we all have to count by the same number, but we may have to start at different places. That makes it fair because yeah. you know twenty-four is a tough number to count by, but if you start at thirty-eight, somebody else starts at sixteen or eighteen. A random number makes it fair for everybody to do the same thing." Okay, I'm going to practice that. Yeah, thank you. And I really want to make it a sport. You know, yeah, counting yeah. is the basic sport. It's like walking and running to be able to do athletics. For mathletics, you have to be able to do numbers and basic counting and basic arithmetic. So this is what I want to celebrate with the counting bee. But let me ask you, because so, I have a friend who, uh, 
he's he's into something else, but he, he happens to be really good specifically at counting up dominoes. Like, okay. he, someone can lay him out, and he can just go like this, and he knows the sum of all the dots, right? Wow, yeah. And he doesn't, you know, it's a similar thing as you. It's just like, it's a, it's a feeling, it's a sense. Are you So my question is, is, you know, you can do this Guinness record of counting, but in general, you're, you can do sums pretty quick, right? Like, you're good with numbers in other yeah, situations. Yeah, it's, or, yeah. When I met you, Sneer, it sort of freaked me out. When I realized there were people out there training, every day for hours i was like what i haven't i've never practiced once ever in my life this is amazing you nice. really do you sit down for three i go play golf you know yeah, so yeah. uh um it was amazing to see the sense of urgency created in all these students and kids that i've met around the world that compete in these things and how much energy and time they put into it so yeah. i really want to honor that and uh at memory out in las vegas we really want to celebrate all these amazing people. So I'm glad you're going to be there. I hope we can get as many American I know. mental athletes as possible there to, you know, because I know you just came back from China yeah. where it had to be a majority of Chinese participants, correct? Yeah, but the winner was an American, uh, which was pretty okay. historic. So It's great. Well, I hope he represents well here. I'm really excited to have everybody here. And uh, thank you so much for giving me this time to talk yeah. about Memory Ad because – uh, I really want to make it a fun event. We're only going to have 200 spots, 100 for math, 100 for memory. We're going to make it really tough. Okay. Uh, we want to bring in the best and really make this something that for years to follow, people will watch the video of this event and hopefully inspire them to become a part of it. That's awesome. Cool, man. Before I let you go, just a couple tips from you to anybody out there who watches this and says like exactly what you said before, that I'm horrible at math, I'm horrible at numbers. How can they turn that around? Like simple things. Yeah, I had a very weird day on 9 nine ninety nine at 9 in the morning on the 18th hole playing golf with Alice Cooper, who wrote a song called 18, and he asked me, hey, 18, 1 plus 8 is 9. Today's 9, 9, 99. How come 18 adds up to 9? And I explained to him that any number times 9, that answer will add up to 9, like 3 times 9 is 27, yeah. 2 and 7 is 9, 4 times 9 is 36, Three and six is nine. He goes, okay, I don't care. And I'm driving home and I'm thinking, wow, why is that? And I've noticed this pattern about the number nine. And I believe it's going to turn on the calculator in everyone's brain. So if you're watching right now, please try to get this, but then share it with one person in your life that you think is worse at math than you. Ready? So to turn on this calculator, just picture the number nine. Now picture the number 11. 11 has a one and a one. So add the digits together. One and one adds up to two. So 11 and take away the total, two. 11 minus 2 is 9. This works for every number. So try 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. 10 minus 1 nine. is 9. Yeah. Try 20. 2 plus 0 is 2. 20 take away 2 is 18. 18. But the answer, 18, 1 and 8, is 9. Yeah. So everybody watching right now, you two Nelson, ready? Yeah. Think of your age. Okay. Add the two digits together. Yeah. And now take that total yeah. and subtract that total from your age. And the answer you get should be a number that adds up to nine. Yeah. So how'd it go for you? Yeah, I'm 32, unfortunately. Uh, my, that's <laughs> five minus five is 27. Two plus seven is nine. There you go. My goal is to reach every nine-year-old kid on the planet Earth so that when they're nine years <laughs> old, every number they see will go back to their age, the number nine. It'll make them feel like every number is their friend and that's turn cool. on this number calculator in their brain and make them feel like numbers are no big deal. And that'll open up the door and the window to the world of mathematics. That's cool. Um, great. No, that, I appreciate all that, that, that information. That's it. That's cool. Um, one, one thing before you go, actually, before you go for real. Um, sure. So I'm, I'm a huge fan of like the, the other calculators. So there's guys that can do powers really high, like Rudiger Gam or, um, that's a magic trick, I think. Is it? So that's my question is a lot of these things, um, they're impressive and he can rattle off numbers for like you say a two digit number 86 to the fifth power right <laughs> and then he'll just rattle off the numbers and, and he's doing these hand waving things it's impressive but uh -huh. i don't know yeah. if there's some technique to it or i hope he writes a book and explains it someday so that we all can understand the process because all I can tell you is everything I can do except for the counting by the number very quickly. I teach and explain in the simplest form that I can find on the planet Earth. So whatever is happening up there, I don't I don't know. And I don't see anybody duplicating that. And anytime it takes somebody longer to say the answer than it does to calculate it, something's up. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. True. 
that's my guess. But the the new thing for me is Flash Anzan. You know where oh, the yeah. numbers appear on the screen and they they're like every fifth of a second or tenth of a second. These guys go so fast that you can barely verbalize the numbers out loud as they're flashing on the screen. They're adding them all up. So I haven't been trained in that medium. So I'm going to give it a try and just see how I can do. But Usineer's doing a great job with it already. Yeah, and they train that right on the Soroban in, in, in countries like Japan, and they can just do almost three-digit numbers like that, right? Many years ago, I filmed a special in Tokyo. I used to live in Japan, I I so saw I saw some Japanese. I and I met a 10-year-old girl that not only could add up 20 three-digit numbers at half-second intervals, but I could ask her questions in English, her second language, while she was no. doing the, tw uh, the 20 numbers. And she answered them in English while she was keeping track of the numbers on the machine. That's great. And said the answer instantly when it popped up. So Was she using a mental like abacus? Yeah, the yeah. cool part was is they all had an abacus on their state on their desk when I walked in, and they were all doing it, writing the answer down. And then the, the teacher goes, "Okay, everybody, stop. Put your abacus away and continue." And they just kept on going. They don't even need it because it is; it's all in their so forehead. So it's pretty fast. Mental stuff. version of it. That's awesome. Well, awesome, man. Thank you for your time. Uh, really excited about the competition. You have no idea. It's it's rare that we get uh, the competitions in the U.S., uh, but it seems to be happening more and more. And I think. This, I, I use that software all the time to train memory since I started this stuff. So I'm very uh, excited to see it in Vegas. So Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate yeah. it. I can't wait for you to get here. I hope America wins, but worst case scenario is let's just put on the best exactly. math memory event ever. Yeah, so that people are just like, this is out there and people can do this. You know. I okay, but here, I'm an odds guy. You know, I live in Vegas. So what are the odds that... The, the person that wins your tournament this summer wins memory ad in November. Uh, it's, it's probably pretty likely. I mean, okay. the, the memory side of it. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll discuss offline here about our bet for that. <laughs> yeah. We got to start <laughs> doing some bets on the side here since it's Vegas. Cool, man. Uh, we'll take care. Thanks for catching up and uh, I'll see you uh, later this year. You got it. Cheers, mate. Thanks for all you do. Yeah. Take it easy. All right, man. Thanks for that. That's all. Awesome.